Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video about how you can improve the performance of NVIDIA's GeForce Now game streaming service by adjusting the settings and basically understanding kind of what the settings mean as well. The main thing to do is, is try and play GeForce Now on a wired connection at home, you know, attach it via a LAN cable rather than go over wireless. But then what you want to do is if you go into the settings down here, you'll see streaming quality. And at first look, these can seem quite um, simple and you might well choose the wrong option for you. So let's see what it says, streaming quality, adjust performance and data usage. Actual performance may vary based upon your network connection and system. This setting will take effect the next time you launch a game. So you've got balanced, um, you've got data saver. So balanced, it says gameplay will use approximately 10 gigabits per hour. Data saver, um, We'll use four gigabytes per hour. Competitive, we'll use six gigabytes an hour, or custom. Um, and you may well think, actually, well, I, I play, like myself, so I, I, I'm, I'm quite competitive. I play first-person shooters and third-person shooters on GeForce. Now I play um, quite fast-moving RTS games like Iron Harvest. Maybe I should go on competitive. But what you need to do, you need to click on this bit here, detail, to see what they actually mean. Because when we look at competitive, for example, it says maximum bit rate automatic resolution or oh, 720p frame rate 120 frames a second ah well wait a second i'm playing this on my old laptop that i'm pretty sure the display doesn't go up above 60 frames a second anyway so it's not actually giving me any advantage by going on competitive you know if you had this connected to um like a, a proper gaming monitor um, that, that was kicking out 120 frames a second be worth doing it. So then when you go back to balanced, you can see balance, max bit rate, auto, resolution 1080p at 60 frames a second. Then all of a sudden, oh, well, obviously that's perhaps the one I should go for. Let's have a look, look at data server, data saver. Um, so 720p, 60 frames a second. And it's like, oh, right, okay, well, maybe that would be a bit better. And then you have custom where you can change stuff yourself. So for example, what you could do in custom is you could say, well, actually, say for example, myself, so I'm playing Iron Harvest. I don't need to really be playing Iron Harvest 60 frames a second. I could knock it down to 30 frames a second and do, do something like that. However, I tend to play on balanced, which is 1080p at 60 frames a second. And that seems to, to work very well for me. But as I say, really important, try and play over a wired connection rather than wireless and that will give you even better even better connection so there we go that my friends is how you could improve the performance of geforce now uh, improve the gaming experience you get on the geforce now game streaming service which i highly recommend by the way i think this service is absolutely fantastic for playing high-end pc high-end pc games on old hardware anyway that's enough for me hopefully you found the video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i'll see you again soon